So I, I, I got to play with uh, anywhere from women's studies students to art students to pre-service ed students. And I think that was really great because I got to sort of walk around a lot of the different aspects of like the art, the writing, but also kind of dropping into what informs my work, which is a much deeper sort of uh, critical analysis, right? And, and not only decolonizing the self, but also healing the self. And so basically I got to go play with folks and drop into those deeper places with them. And even in like the art class, I got to have more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. And then today's workshop is like this culmination, it seems like, about what I've been talking about all week. Well, the workshop, we spent the first part of the day going into sort of building that sense of self and coming into a more, um, a different way of thinking in a sense, like a more circular, more inclusive way of being present not only with ourselves, but also with other people. And so from that place, we're going to start looking into uh, self-portraiture, doing self-portraits, and what we would tell our younger self, in a sense, um, if we could say anything back into our lives, like what, what wisdom we hold now. And all of this is basically uh, structurally in preparation for uh, creating children's books. So that we do that more personal work inside so that our, as our voice comes out into the world, it has greater strength and power to it and more authenticity, which is not often in, taught or embraced in our culture. And so how do we start creating what we were talking about, how to become free in an unfree world in a sense and how that frees our voice.